click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel to get latest notifications and updates about my videos click on this bell icon hi friends this is the IWT block already explained in my previous tutorial this is the print planning drawing and go on to the more options the print plan drawing is already saved in my file already explained in the previous tutorial you should watch this previous tutorial before continuing this tutorial what you should watch the previous tutorial and my uh, i'm scaling the object like this because i before uh, creating the object i select the scale uniformly after you creating the or insert the block it will ask the how uh, you can change the any of the formats or prompts i am changing like this already explained in my previous tutorial how to scale the objects also and this is the because i selected the scale uniformly then only it is shown like this then the the model is completed you want to edit the any of the operations or any of the models give the uncheck the scale uniformly or allow exploding i am only selecting the scale uniformly next i am going to the uh, attribute block manager we want to delete the any of the names or any of the tags or prompts values the enhanced attribute manager or else in previous tutorial this is the attribute manager block attribute manager on this you can remove the tags are remove the values as compared with the enhanced attribute the remove options are not there and setting also some of the settings are not available on the attribute enhanced attribute want to change the uh, more in attributes see and go to the edit attribute you want to give the uh, verify or invisible modes you can also observe on the screen on the back side what are performing you want to default you want to change the tag names you want to change the text format like this the enhanced uh, as compared to the enhanced attribute manager has a lot of features and go on to this block already create this block and go on to the attribute manage dialog box will appear so after clicking on that and this is the block print planning you have multiple blocks you can also change the multiple block also i explained in my tutorial only single block you want to change create the multiple blocks you can also create the multiple work by seeing these two tutorials i want to remove like this see remove and click on apply or ok then the some of the tags and the prompt values are removed you can also uh, check by using the control z undo option you want to select the objects select the objects like this and click on the data sheet and the equipment move down and up what keys are available on the left side and the right side we want to synchronize this drawing want to synchronize update all instances of the selected block also i'm selecting like this see before what you created you're clicking on that that will appear and go on to the company name and the some of the client drawn i given in my previous tutorial for example one of the block is created i want to remove this you can also remove this so let's go on to the settings on the left on the below you can give the display in list prom default inches annotative styles are there i selecting the four features you want to select the all of the features and the creel all and select all and click on ok where you observe on the display in list i will show you and click on ok see and simply drag the small bar see the modes annotation styles notification what you give on the settings all the modes will you want to change the height and the rotation with obliques angles all are possible see simply double click on that the edit attributes will observe on the screen you change the color you can also change the color see i am changing the color to Uh, red and click on ok and uh, the color is changed like this as compared with the enhanced attribute and the block manager is has some more lot of features to remove the prompts or values and click on ok see different types of settings are available and select all 
and click on OK and apply changes to the existing also you can check the marks then the, this is the print pl planning block is completed I will show you how to uh, find the base point also you want to edit to be this at ATD enter and the block name applications and give the tag names also you can perform the activities like uh, the same I am giving the date sheet and the drawn equipment and the company name and the client some of the right you want to change the uh, names as your wish and the set the base point you want to find the base point click on, click on the base point option the command is base enter and after clicking dot enter out selecting that see the base point is 66 points x axis on the 66 on the 22 on the y axis and the z is 0 the base point will observe on the screen what type of point on x from the y distance how much distance is there i will select another point on the middle point c and click on enter after that you observe 48 point sum and 26 huh, some blah blah is there and like block and go on to the set base point this is the ba base point command and next uh, you want to give the return display display and display all attributes you want to check the marks before creating the block you can be already explained the how to create the return blocks also i'll explain the previous tutorials and i'm giving the rectangle like this i want to show you how to plot this for example these type of models how to use i will explain this i'm simply draw the rectangle and offsetting the line to some of the distance to 0 0.50 like this this attribute blocks can create simply uh, insert the blocks by using the insert block manager and uses icon enter and the no option then use on will disappears on the screen onto the bottom of the left side see by using this uh, what type of operations i performed here you can observe on the command line and go on to the control p and i am selecting the printer and i am giving the window already explained how to plot the drawings also explained previous tutorial and letter a4 and center to plot and select an a4 size and click on preview see like this you can create the blocks the attributes are very helpful to create the blocks you can save the blocks in any of the file simply you performing any of the drawing simply insert the blocks into that it is somewhat easy and expressions also there it, the expressions are performing by the commands you want to does not change the dam simply it automatically changes all the dimensions uh, all the values by using the attributes you can observe the previous tutorial you can understand clearly this is the attribute 